Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 9.5. Here's your objective. You will be able to draw polygons in the coordinate plane and use coordinates to find length. That sounds like a whole lot, but I think today will be kind of fairly easy in a way. Um, polygons are just any shapes that connect all the way around and they're straight lines, so no curves. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so we're mostly talking about perimeter today. And perimeter is the total distance around a figure. All right, a lot easier than area in some ways, I would say. Um, so look at this figure. We have a width or a base, whatever you want to call it, of 5, and the other width of 5. And we have two lengths or two heights of 3. So my total perimeter of this figure is 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3. So we could do that in our heads, and we get... 10 plus 6, and we get 16. Perimeter of this figure is 16. Um, but there's other ways to look at it, too, which we'll see in a little bit. Now, this figure is A, B, C, D, okay? Because it goes from A to B to C to D. And we could find the length. Now, let's say there weren't um, lines on here to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can get the coordinates and find the distance between. So, for example, this A is coordinates 2, 8. So I have a 2, comma 8 right there. And this B is 7, 8. Notice how both of their Y's are the same. Sorry, both of their, uh, yes, both of their Y's are the same. So the X's are different. If you can't see that, that's a, that's a 7, 8. All right, so the difference between them is with their X's. So the length here is 7 minus 2, which is, or the width, I guess, which is 5. That's why it's 5 right there. Now, I could see the difference in length here if I get this coordinate. This C is 7, 5, 7, comma, 5. And notice how both the X's are now 7, but the Y's are different with the 8 and 5, and the difference between those two is 3. So that's why my width is 3. Or my length, sorry. I keep getting those confused. All right, so what if you just have the coordinates and they don't give you a picture in the book, which they like to do to you? And you have a rectangle, again, A, B, C, D. But the problem is I don't know where A, B, C, D is necessarily starting. I don't see in my head. I might have to draw a picture. But here are the vertices or the coordinates. A, 20, A, sorry, A, 21. We're not playing Battleship. A is a 2 and 1. B is a 2, 5, C is 4 for X, 5 for Y, and D is 4 for X and 1 for Y. So the rule of thumb kind of here is you could subtract the Y coordinates to find the length going up and down, and you could subtract the X coordinates to find the width going left to right. All right, so I've got a, my wife, who's sitting back there, Mrs. Murphy, she's able to visualize this in her head, and some of you might be able to as well. She was able to see, like, that's 2 and 2 in the X, and then the B is a 1 and a 5, and she's able to see that there's a difference of 4. So she knows that the either the length or width is a, is a 4, okay? But I can't really see that too well, and maybe some of you can or can't. So I like to draw a picture for myself first. So I don't have to make, go major. I'm going to draw a um, coordinate plane right here. Here's 0. And I'm going to start mapping it out. I have a 2, 1. So I'm going to go 2, 1. And I'm going to mark that as 2, 1. And that's my A. Then my B is 2, 5. So I have a 2, comma, 5 right there. And A, B, and I'm going to keep going in order. C is a 4, 5. 4, 5. And then my D is a 4, 1. 4, 1. Right here. Okay? Now I could also mark them A, B, C, D to help me remember. And I can connect my dots as well. But the purpose of this is to find the perimeter. So if I subtract the Y coordinates, I could find my length. So I want to find my length right here. Because both of my X's are the same. If you're having trouble seeing because of the glare, I have a 2 and 2 for my X. So my Y difference is a 5 and a 1. So what's the difference between 5 and 1? 4. And notice I don't have the lines on here 2 to count, so I have to use the subtraction. So this is a 4 for that length. 
Now, because it says it's a rectangle, I automatically know that this is going to be a 4 as well. Okay? So all I have to do is find one width. Now this, I'll go down to these ones. This is a 2-1. That's a 4-1. So the y's are the same, so I have to subtract my x-coordinates. 4 minus 2 equals 2. So when I, so over here I'm doing 4 minus 2 to get 2 for my difference in my width. And over here I was subtracting 5 minus 1 to equal 4. Those were my y's. That gave me my length. That gave me my width. So I'll have 4, 4, 2, and 2. So I could add those up. 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2. We could do that mentally and get 8 and 4 more, which would equal 12. The perimeter of rectangle ABCD equals 12. Okay? So you kind of got to take it slow, and if you can't see it right away, like some people can, like Mrs. Murphy back there, you might want to draw it out and label your coordinates and see, oh, these x's are both 2, so I have to find the difference in my y's, 5 minus 1. Oh, these y's are both 5, I have to find my difference in my x's, 4 minus 2. Okay? When you're finding the difference, let's put the larger number first, definitely, on these perimeter problems. Okay, so basically, to reiterate, when the x-coordinates are the same, you subtract the y-coordinates. When the y-coordinates are the same, you subtract the x-coordinates. So here's a um, picture in your book in this chapter or this lesson today. And we're going to use it for the next couple pages. If you can't see it, this is kind of like a zoo here. I have monkeys, gorillas. They're all around the perimeter of the zoo. And there's the entrance down there of elephants. Now, I'm just, on this page, I'm just going to find um, the distance between two points. Now... From the monkeys to the gorillas, I have the same y of 10. They're both at 10. So to find this length, or this width right here, I could just count spaces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, you can see it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I know that this is 7 for this distance from that point to that point. But if I didn't have those lines there, I could find the difference between my x's, which is 7 and 0. And what's 7 minus 0? 7. Okay, I'll do one more point on here. I'll do from the gorillas to the elephants. All right, I see that the x's are both the same. They're both at 7. They're both right here on this line at 7. Boom, boom. The difference is within the y's, 7 and 10. So what's the difference between 7 and 10? 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 3. So that's why that distance is just 3. Now I could have counted as well. 1, 2, 3. Okay? But we're going to throw a wrinkle in here. And now this is fine. The total dis distance of the zoo of each grid square is 200 feet. So each grid square, meaning from here to there, is 200 feet. So yes, I can go all the way around and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I could do 1, 2, 3, or I could count by 200s, which would be a long time, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,200, 1,400, but I think it would be much easier to take each grid, um, each of length and multiply it by 200, or what's even easier is to add up all the whole distance, my final perimeter, and then multiply it by what? You guessed it, 200, okay? Because each one is worth 200 now. So I already have my 7 to my 3. The distance between here is 1, 2, 3, 4. Sometimes it's just easier to count the distance when they give it to you. Distance here is 1, 2, 3, 4 as well. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this difference I'll do the subtraction with. Both my x's are at 0, and my y's are a difference between 0 and 10. The difference between 0 and 10 equals 10, so this length is 10. So now when I add up all of my um, distances between points, so my, my widths and my lengths together to make this polygon, okay, I just have to add them up. I'll start with my 10. 
Actually, I'm going to find my 7 and 7 first and make 14. 14 plus 10 is 24. Then I'll add the rest. 24 plus 4 is 28. 32. 36. Now I only have my two threes. 36 plus 6 equals 42. So the total amount is 42 all the way around. Now I'm going to put my larger number on top and get 200 times 42, and that would be my total perimeter because each square, don't forget, was worth 200. Okay, so let's do it out real quick. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 2 is 4. So we get 400 so far. Now I'm going to multiply my 40, but I have to annex my 0. 4 times 0, 0, 4 times 0, 0, 4 times 2 equals 8. Add them all up, and I get 8,400 as my total distance around. All right? So total distance is 8,400 feet because we're using feet. I should always put my, my uh, units in there. Okay? Very good. So now it's your job to find the perimeter for me on two different sets of coordinates. Now, I didn't draw it out for you. You have that option to draw it out or see it in your head, okay? So you have L, M, N, P. I think that should be an O, shouldn't it? L, M, N, O? I don't know what the book was thinking, but I would think that would be an O. All right, but you can label P if you want. L is 3, 3, M is 3, 5, N is 7, 5, and my newly formed O is a 7, 3. Down here, my I have a P, Q, R, S. P is 3 0, Q is C, or sorry, P is 3 0, Q is 6 0, R is 6 7, S is 3 7. So you might want to make a coordinate grid, draw it out, or if you could start to see that both of these X's are 3, and then their Y's difference is a 5, and the 3 difference is 2, you know that either the length or the width, depending on which way you're going, is going to be a 2. Okay? Um, it's up to you. But I would draw it out to double check anyway. So good luck with that. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you.